Welcome to the AGI Show. My name is Saroosh Paul, and I'll be your host. In this intro episode, I want to tell you a little bit more about me and what you can expect to uh, learn and listen to on this podcast. So like I said, my name is Saroosh, and I'm an engineer, startup entrepreneur, and generally like to just enjoy life. I live here in uh, Sydney, Australia, love to get outdoors and, and read about all kinds of interesting technology topics. Um, professionally, I've run and built uh, various technology companies. Um, I was one of the early software engineers and managers at a financial technology startup called Plaid. And more recently and currently, I'm an engineer and engineering leader at a uh, cell-cultured meat company called Vow here in Sydney. So we're aiming to give people the meat products that they know and love, um, but without all of the negative implications of, of industrial animal agriculture, things like um, environmental uh, greenhouse gas emissions, land use, water use, um, and uh, some of the other challenges like public health uh, risks, things like pandemic risks. So I won't talk too much about that, but that's what I do for my day job. Uh, I absolutely love it and, and hope we get to, to change our food system for the better through that work. Um, but on this podcast, what I'm, what I'm focused on is artificial general intelligence. And uh, the way I got into this and, and where I'm headed to with this show is many years ago, I read a really fantastic book called Super Intelligence by a guy named Nick Bolstrom. Um, fantastic book if you haven't read it. Um, that book was quite a convincing and high quality account of the fact that a very intelligent artificial intelligence, or a, um, uh, an artificially created intelligence that's at least as smart as human beings um, or as capable as human beings and, and then will exceed us and, and be super intelligent or smarter than humans um, is possible, that it can happen in this century, and that if it does happen, it has huge implications for our society, um, including potentially negative ones or risks for our society. Um, at the time, I was quite scared by it or, or you know, certainly got me really um, quite animated. But I didn't decide to kind of do too much about it except continue to learn more about it. Um, if you've not been exposed to any of the, the first kind of early arguments and, and understanding of artificial general intelligence... I highly recommend a blog post series by a great technical communicator named Tim Urban. Uh, his blog post series is called The Artificial Intelligence Revolution, and he's got a part one and part two. I highly recommend that. I won't cover the basic arguments knowing that most of you, if you've searched and found the AGI show, probably want to go a little bit deeper than the basics. So recommend that blog post series if you're looking for the basics. Um, as I watched AGI grow from there in terms of, um, or sorry, if as I watched artificial intelligence, the, the tech, the, the industry around it, um, the capabilities uh, get better since that time, since about five years ago when I read that book, um, I've realized that this is, um, this technology is improving rapidly and I am personally significantly more convinced that it can happen in our lifetimes. And if it's going to happen in our lifetimes, then it's really important we take this technology really seriously, including its risks and challenges. Um, therefore, I've started to kind of spend more of my own time learning about artificial general intelligence, where it's going to go, and what we can do about it to make it the most positive version of itself, the one that is net positive for humanity. And... I wanted to share that same journey, those learnings that I'm making as a technologist, but really a beginner when it comes to um, the world of, 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 of really getting deep into the world of artificial intelligence um, and learning more about it. I want to share those learnings with everybody listening on this podcast. So the kinds of challenges um, and, and questions I want to dig into on this podcast are when will artificial general intelligence arrive? Um, what it when it does arrive, what does it look like, and what are the risks and challenges, and how do we solve for those risks and challenges to ensure that whatever we do create is ultimately really positive for the world. Um, I'm mostly not going to talk about all the positive implications of of really advanced 
um, artificial intelligence, one that matches um, human intelligence, because there's lots of people out there already touting how good AI can be for the world, and that's great, and I agree with lots of the possibilities for positive things. Uh, but there's fewer people digging into the potential challenges for humanity. So I'm going to put more of an emphasis on those risks and challenges, knowing that there's already plenty of people telling you all the good things that AI can give us. Um, expectations in terms of who this is for, um, it's definitely intended for a technical audience, so people who have already um, done some, some work in software or, or technology and, and, and are willing to kind of listen to technical topics. But I'm also going to really avoid turning this into a really inaccessible, um, you know, really specialized conversation because I do want this podcast to be something others can use to go from early understanding of software and, and its possibilities to really understanding how they can um, understand AGI and, and, and what we, how we tackle it. So it's for a technical audience, but should be pretty um, accessible for, for a general technical audience. So if you've um, done a computer science degree or you've worked in the software industry or you're just somebody who's curious enough to read lots of things about technology, I'm going to try and bring all of those people along on this journey. Um, and I'm not, you know, I, while I am a technologist and I know lots of things about software, I'm certainly not an expert on um, machine learning or uh, the, the deep technical field of artificial intelligence. So hopefully I can go on that same journey with you and, and not leave too many people behind as we learn about these topics. Fantastic. So in this first uh, series of episodes, um, the first topic area we're going to dig into is that key question around timelines. When might AGI arrive? Um, this is important because the different timelines give us different understandings of what we might do about it. If it's coming in five years versus 20 years versus 100 years, those are going to have different implications of how we face into the problem or the challenges that it poses. And it also gives us, uh, the timelines conversation automatically gets us to um, real interesting conversations about how this might happen and how this might look. Um, all of this, by the way, I should have said this earlier, but I'll make it really clear now, is going to be done with conversations with different experts in the field. So I won't be the key expert. I'll be someone who asks hopefully useful questions of others and, and tries to make sense of those answers and, and, and things that our experts share with us, um, but will always, almost always be um, in conversation with an expert in the field of artificial intelligence or um, artificial general intelligence and its safety um, implications. So um, that, that'll be the format, um, it'll be a Q&A format. Fantastic. So without further ado, um, I hope you get um, a lot out of this podcast and learn as many things um, as you possibly can about how um, our world is progressing towards more powerful um, artificial intelligence and how we can make sure that whatever we do create is the most positive version of that that it can be um, for humanity, um, humanity's goals and, and health and education, all the things we all really value and care about. So yeah, I'll see you on the next episode where we talk to um, an expert about timelines towards artificial general intelligence. Thanks, everyone.